more often than not, an accepted workers' comp injury is going to be restricted to the physical injuries. And most oftentimes, the description of injury on the uh, Bureau documentation will be a very limited description. It'll identify the body part injured and most likely be a sprain or strain, contusion type injury, unless it's a clear, a more significant injury, such as a fracture uh, and the like. What is very rarely included on the initial documentation is a mental injury. And we think about mental illness and the things that can attach to the types of trauma that's experienced in a worker's compensation injury. Uh, PTSD comes to mind. But the other thing that can happen along the way, especially with an individual that's been out of work, is now instead of going to work every day, sitting at home wondering when the next uh, comp check's going to come so they can make bills, depression is also involved in a lot of these cases. First piece of advice is to seek the, the help of a professional in these circumstances. Uh, as attorneys, we oftentimes can pick up on these types of um, diagnoses, these mental illness diagnoses, but we really need to rely on the, the medical professionals to make those diagnoses and the treatment plan to support including those diagnoses in the comp claim. And that's me speaking as an attorney. Obviously, uh, from a human standpoint, we want to make sure that our clients are taken care of in the whole person. And the, the mental illness aspect of that uh, certainly needs to be uh, paid attention uh, more, more times than not than the physical injury itself. We have uh, tremendous amount of experience getting these uh, mental illness diagnoses included in the workers' compensation claim. Uh, many times the, the mental illness diagnosis becomes the reason why an individual can't get back in the workforce. So you can see why in a, in a circumstance where the employee and the employer are trying to figure out what kind of job they can return to, in this circumstance, it's, it's uh, critically important to have all of the diagnoses included, all the physical diagnoses, and in the right circumstance, the mental diagnoses as well. If you have any issues uh, such as the ones I just discussed, please reach out to O'Connor Law and talk to our work, one of our workers' compensation attorneys.